this is how you um, make a cover put your centrifuge on using a 55 open top oil drum what I do to cut the hole here using a hole saw what you do you set your gasket Set your gasket on there. What I did is spray it <coughs> and then it will leave an impression of where the holes need to be. Take that off, drill your, your holes there, and then this is a two and a half inch 64 millimeter hole saw. Center it and drill it through, job done. Then you get your centrifuge and I'll show you in a minute but that's where your holes are in the center the big holes where the oil comes out so obviously that will go through the, the lid and then there's your holes for lining up what you do is take the cap off from the centrifuge that's the, the spinning uh, mechanisms inside that and then what you're left with is your your outer casing. There's your four holes. Just put your bolts through that, lay it on top of there. As so put your, your bolts through, connect your pipes up, put your pressure gauge onto your pump, and it's been like this. Right, so what I've done, I've Screw them on tight, 5 8 nut and bolt. And then what happens here, clean oil comes through there. On the centrifuge, do not tighten this bolt up too tight else you will crack the casing. To clean the centrifuge, all you do is unscrew this. So this will be sat in there. Right, so that spins around. All you're going to be doing is taking the outer case out. There, that's what makes it spin these two. And all you do is slightly Tap it on there and it all separates. Right, so make sure you get these washers back on. And what it does, it filters through that. All the rubbish will be left on the outs, or shall say on the inside of that. And all you've got to do is take these out, clean them with uh, power of petrol. It's just all white spirits. It's the easiest thing. So all I've done is put it back together. I'm going to do all this on my own today, unfortunately. It'd be easier if I had somebody else with me. That fits in there like that. See, that spins around. And then all you're going to do is put the hat, well, the hat, the top back on in the bracket. When cleaning it, make sure this flat washer gets taken out and put back in. Else it'll start leaking everywhere. Make sure you don't lose that. You can get spares, but you don't want to lose it. Put that back on top. That makes a nice seal. And then just tighten that. And all you do is tighten that back on. And that's solidly connected. And I'll just put the pipes on, which will connect through that one. When you're connecting your pipe work up, obviously this end goes into the pump from the outlet and it goes around and it comes through here you'll have pressure gauge on this one 
and your release valve, sorry, your pressure gauge on that one, your release valve on that. And what you do, you leave your release valve wide open when you start the uh, motor up so it doesn't give it a full force all at once. And then once your motor started pumping it out and you've got oil flowing out of here back into the drum, don't worry about that because it's not going through there at the beginning and then you gently close the valve until you get nine bars on your pressure gauge. So that's how you want it, I haven't connected it in fully. Uh, one thing to do is, which I forgot to do just now, is before you tighten that right down, connect this to, which will make it easier to connect your stuff to, and then get that down. So <coughs> what you'll do, you'll have your um, overflow pipe coming from here going back into the drum and when that meets uh, reads so you like fully open close it slowly and when it reaches nine bars oops, sorry when it reaches nine bars in red which is between the eight and the ten in red that's your optimal working pressure nine bars this is the Keep On Trucking model T60 centrifuge. It's connected to This is the centrifuge model FT60 for the keep on trucking. We have a pressure gauge and what we do we open this valve here to maximum when first starting it up and then closing it until the centrifuge uh, sorry until the pressure gauge reads 90 psi. This is connected to a Pusey Viscom pump. And on the pump <coughs> we have an on off switch just there. <coughs> the 55 gallon drum has a heating element and then on the back side of the drum we have a drain hose and on the heating element we have a safety plug <coughs> 